I am so excited to be with Jennifer and Sarah today as we discover lots of things with Braille technology. Jennifer and Sarah, would you like to introduce yourselves and tell us your role with APH? Sure. My name is Jennifer Wenzel. I am a technology product specialist with APH. I've been with APH almost a year now, and I support uh, Braille and technology products such as the Mantis Chameleon Page Connect and Monarch. Awesome. And many more. And well. many more. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, so my name is Sarah Welch. And I am on the uh, product development side of things. So we're developing the products and I work with Braille technology. Well, I'm really excited to hear more about the Chameleon. And if you wouldn't mind telling me a little bit about the features and how one might use the Chameleon. Sure. So the Chameleon is a 20 cell Braille display and it has a Perkins style keyboard. And the Chameleon can be used alone to create files and do some simple editing. It can also, it also has a book reader so it can connect to Wi-Fi and you're able to download content from libraries such as Bookshare and NLS Bard as well as NFB Newsline. It does have built-in text-to-speech and you have a range of voices to pick from. And it is a very portable, um, very small, hybrid braille display and by that i mean you can use it alone using the features that i mentioned and you can also connect it via bluetooth or usb to a laptop or a phone or um those are probably the two best devices um to be able to do things on those devices as well open file so jennifer for me kind of a good way to think of the hybrid display and this is not an official term at all but I would think of it more of like a tablet. So it does have a lot of like independent features it can do, but for full expanded features, you would use something like a computer. So absolutely. Kind of That's a good exactly way to think about it. Good way to think about it. Yep. Yep. And the chameleon really can be used for so many things. It can be used as a quick to jot down quick notes, to read. I, I tend to use it myself for a very portable reader, like on a plane or a train or a bus. Um, but it can also be used with your phone for texting. Um, you know, I mean, you wouldn't want to do that during school, of course, but, you know, for, for that type of thing on your phone or checking when your Uber is arriving or, you know, quick things on your phone. Um, and then with the computer, it's very useful for lots of computer applications for checking spelling or email, for instance, for um, checking spelling in a Word document or editing quick things. Um, you'll have that that versatility if you connect it to a device. So it's it's a really powerful. Oh, it also I forgot to mention it does have a um, time and date built in, and then there is a calculator built in as well. Just a um, it does the the basic functions as well as percentage and um, you know things that you might need quickly for quick calculations. And it also has a built-in speaker that you can use with the text-to-speech feature. So the chameleon comes with some colored cases. Um, the reason it's called the chameleon is because it gives students options for different colors for the device. And so it comes with some colored, what I would call kind of a bumper case that just goes up the sides of the, the device. The case I have it in is called an executive case. Well, I, I refer to it as an executive case because it used to be made by executive products. It's now made by Turtleback. So it's a case that actually covers the front of the device and also has a strap for carrying. Um, and so that is sold separately, but it is also on quota. So Jennifer, earlier you mentioned that the Chameleon has a Perkins keyboard. How would you describe that for someone who doesn't know what that is? So the Perkins keyboard is a traditional Braille keyboard. It has six keys that are that are um that are used for the six dots of braille so dots one two three are on the left and four five and six are on the right and then it has a space bar and then it has a dot seven key and a dot eight key the dot seven key is used as a backspace and the dot eight key is used as an enter so any input into this device is done through that braille keyboard and there are commands that can be used um, that can 
you be used for navigation and things like that on this Braille keyboard. If you're connected to a computer, or you could also connect to a Bluetooth keyboard and use QWERTY, then, then you'd be able to use QWERTY commands and QWERTY keyboard as well. So Jennifer, one of the things I've heard as a big bonus to the Chameleon is its portability. So for those who are curious about the size and weight of the Chameleon, it is about just under a pound, so it's 0 0.9 pounds, and the dimensions are 3.66 inches by 7.16 inches by 0 0.9 inch. So pretty small overall. And it does run on a rechargeable battery. Um, I don't know the exact time that you are supposed to get, but it, it has some, like it has a sleep feature and a power off feature. You can get a lot of battery use out of it and it charges with a USB-C charger that is included. Um, also, if you are connected to the computer by USB, it charges the chameleon as you're connected and it can be used while you are plugged in if needed, uh, but it does have very good battery life. Um, especially if you put it to sleep while you're not using it. So we just learned a little bit about the chameleon. Can you tell me maybe who would be the student or a child that would be a good fit for the chameleon? So many students would be a good fit for the chameleon. The chameleon could be used with students at a young age. Braille readers would be an excellent use or, or an excellent target for the chameleon. And it can grow some with the students. So it could be used at first for braille activities, learning braille, reading materials that could be downloaded from something such as Bookshare or NLS Bard. And then it could be introduced as something that connected to other products to expand and grow with the student. And I would add on where the Chameleon does have the Perkins keyboard, it would get the most benefit for students who have some familiarity with Braille. They may not be completely fluent, but as long as they know grade one, which is like the alphabet, then that would give them a lot more um, opportunities to fully use the chameleon. Wonderful. Is there anything else you'd like us to know about the chameleon? I think that some students really appreciate the different colored case options for the chameleon. And many students will really appreciate the chameleon's portability. It's very lightweight. It's easy to, you can even, if you're an older student and you have a larger purse, you can even throw the chameleon in your purse. <laughs> it, it's just, it can be with you almost anywhere. And um, it has, it's very versatile as a product. Yeah. One of the benefits um, that we've heard from feedback from people about having the Perkins keyboard, which is what the chameleon has, is that the student is forced to use more of their braille skills because they're typing or writing in exactly what they would be reading. So that's been a big benefit for the chameleon. I have to say, I do love the colors and I really do love the size of it. And now you've got the carrot buy-in that it's reinforcing those skills that they're learning throughout the day. You both shared such great products, and I'm curious to see why would one be better for a child or one be more beneficial? What are your thoughts? So for me, there isn't really a clear cut. Well, you know, students with X, Y, and Z need this one, and students with that need that one. It's really going to be up to the individual student on what's best with them. So one of the biggest differences between the Manus and Chameleon is the keyboard. So that'd be the QWERTY keyboard versus the Perkins style keyboard. So there are strong proponents for both sides and it's really kind of up to the individual student and their educational team on what's best for them. So kind of like what we said before, um, some of the advantages of the Perkins style keyboard, it does lend for a smaller unit and they are uh, reinforcing those braille skills even more because they're typing in exactly as they're reading back out. But then on the opposite side, on the QWERTY side, some of the big advantages we've heard of for it is it does have more braille cells, so it has 40 cells across, and then it's building those transferable skills. So all the keyboard commands that you would use on the QWERTY keyboard would be the same as when you are using like a commercial laptop or going on into the workplace. 
And I think what people need to do is sort of think about what the student might be doing coming up. So looking at where the student is now and where they might be in the future as you're considering what the best product is. The other thing to consider is I know some families buy something for a student's personal use at home and the price point on the chameleon is less because it's smaller, because it's a smaller unit. So if someone in the family is looking to raise funds or buy something for their student, maybe that's a good thing and to encourage the school to do something like a mantis or maybe they have the same product at school and at home you know it, it it really does depend either product is going to be very beneficial for a student so um i i would say either one is is great for various reasons i feel like it's a tough decision and you guys brought up lots of great points <laughs> for what your child is doing now what they're going to be doing in the future, the portability, how will the child, how will it grow with the child and their future are all considerations. 